This disclaimer was copied without permission. Cheers, Quarters, Gothels, Wiggers, Simpsons, and all other good people out there. Pops watch here. And first up, I would like to express my deep felt thanks to all my subscribers for, well, subscribing. There are now more than a hundred of you, and I am so happy that I got so far, and I love every last one of your subscribers. However, I still would like a lot of more subscribers, so uh, if you're watching this video, why don't you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you know whenever I post stuff. Also, a shout out to the guest on my first live stream, Modema81. It was an absolute pleasure to have and it was such a great conversation. I really recommend that you watch that video if you're interested in skepticism, religion and atheism. And if you're interested in knowing how secular the Scandinavian countries are or actually aren't, that is definitely a video you want to watch. Also subscribe to Martima81. It may be a bit ironic that I, with only a little over 100 subscribers, would shout out to someone who has more than 36,000 subscribers. So it's what I do, and I definitely think you should sub to him. Now on to today's beer, which is... This is the last of the beers I bought, which were intended for an international audience. It's another one from the United States, and it's the Brooklyn Scorcher IPA. I had a few Brooklyn beers in that batch, uh, and as you will see in the screenshot from my earlier video where I was introducing all the beers, there are three Brooklyn beers there, but if you follow my channel, uh, you will see that this is only the second Brooklyn beer that I'm reviewing. The reason for that uh, is that two of the Brooklyn brand beers turned out to be the same beer, only with different labels. Fancy that. So I'm tired of pulling my keys out uh, of my pockets and thus making one hell of a lot of noise on the video. So um, I actually brought an opener. Yeah, I already feel a bit of uh, a small whiff of hops here. So this is indeed an India Pale Ale. It's, it's definitely very pale. It looks more like a pale lager than an, than an IPA. The smell, however, tells you that this is an IPA. No, no doubt about it. Very sweet notes, uh, vanilla and some um, rose leaves. Ah, some very sweet and aromatic notes, uh, mostly of rose flowers, uh, also siren, siren flowers. A whiff of nectar and, and other sugary notes. And the hop is there as well. Almost hidden in all the sweet notes, but that's not really anything to complain about. But I love the sweet notes in, in an IPA as much as I do the bitter ones. Aromatic uh, IPAs is really where you enjoy the sweet with the bitter, isn't it? <sighs> I have to admit though, uh, tasting it is hardly as impressive as it is smelling at it. Now it's a rather light IPA. It's not really scorching anything, least of all my taste buds. On the contrary, this would effectively quench any fire. Oh, then again, it probably wouldn't. It's... If you're thinking of a fire on your tongue, for example, from a ginger or chili, this wouldn't do much against it. There are some light, rather dim, hoppy notes. Well, tasty, all right. Hardly adequate, though. You have to almost press the beer into your palate uh, and into your tongue to, to get proper taste out of it. And there uh, you, you get a, 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 a slight whiff of, of, some, uh, of some pine needles, a tad of smoke, but nothing out of the ordinary in any way whatsoever. 
I wouldn't say watered down, but this is as watered down it gets before actually getting watered down. Not really that impressive. Uh, well, tasty enough, and, and on, a, on a hot summer day, I'd enjoy it, definitely. Um, for, a, for a beer tasting session where you really want something as extraordinary, this isn't the beer. Uh, I'll give it, out of six, as always, three. It just about manages to, uh, to, to pleasure adequately and nothing more. And with a beer like this from the United States, why don't we have a look at something really American? A Trump rally. Guys, we, we are in Orlando right now. Ow! Ah, that's Tom Sonnegot again. And he is an American? He's Danish. You can hear that on his horrible accent. Right now, there is a rally here with Donald Trump, and we were in the neighborhood, so we thought, why not? Why not? Why not? Because it's Donald Trump, you bumbling ass trumpet. You know, the pussy grabbing, climate change denying, with Russia colluding, Mexican children from parents separating, white supremacists as good people designating, tax papers hiding, wall building, about getting a Mexico to pay for the wall he's building, lying, by visiting Mar-a-Lago every time there's a crisis, tax money wasting, to be able to kill someone on Fifth Avenue without consequences claiming, asylum seekers and children in cages without water or hygienic facilities confining, Mexican rapists calling, and why Environmental catastrophes by building new pipelines, creating outdated coal technology, clean calling third world nations as shithole countries, describing other third world nations as infested, denoting scumbag, racist, fascist, asshat. That's why not. Start a rally like this with so radical a prayer as we have just heard here. This is amazing. This is very special. So mixing religion and politics is an amazing idea, you think? Yeah, look at how fabulous that works in Iran, Saudi Arabia and the Islamic State. Or just in new fascist rampant homophobic Catholic Poland. Why don't you just move there then? Oh wait, you live in the United States. Practically, that is not far off now, is it? Hashtag not all Americans, I might add. And this can't be stressed enough. And no, we don't see that in Europe, or Western Europe at least, because we know mixing religion and politics leads to freaking catastrophes. And there was a rally with Donald Trump, so we thought, let's go in. Let's go and experience with our own eyes, because we know there's a lot of fake news out there, so we want to experience how it is. We want to experience how many people is there because you know you cannot trust the news. Fake news, cannot trust the news. You practically speak like Agent Orange. Except for that accent of yours, of course. But it sounds like you really love this guy. And there's a lot of people here. How is it, Jung? It is beyond. This is not what you see in the news. It is amazing what is going on. I want to hear the prayer. The prayer it was really radical. She was just quoting scripture and naming the name of Jesus above all other names. So Woo! it is really also focusing on God. So for us, it's just to be here to experience it and see with our own eyes. Just seeing with your own eyes, give me a break. And quit lying to yourself. You just love what you're seeing. You actually want to be that orange monster, don't you? You yourself yearn to be the object of personal worship like that, don't you? You get high from the thought of such a mass of sycophants sucking up to you, don't you? And that's why you've got your little cult scheme up and running. It's not God you want to praise, or Jesus. You yourself want to be praised by masses of brainless minions, unquestioningly, unreflectingly, and uncritically eating up every last bit of shite you serve to them and call chocolate. Because that makes you feel powerful. And you make me sick. 
Well, seems I went off on a tangent there. But that will be the reviewing and ranting for today. Uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Untapped. I've also got a Danish beer blog and a Danish Facebook page. Feel free to contact me through those channels or this email about beer related news or if you want my address information, if you want to send me something that could be beers to review, t-shirts to wear, posters to put up on the huge empty wall next to where I do my reviews or other beer related material like that. Today's t-shirt by the way is from the band which I use for my intro. You really should check them out. They are called Red Vashera and I always link to their Spotify account in every video, video where I use their material. Please like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications and share the video if you like what you see. I've been Hopswatch at your service. Always remember to drink responsibly and until next time, cheers. Why not? Why not? Because it's Donald Trump, you bumbling ass trumpet. You know, the pussy grabbing, climate change denying, with Russia colluding, Mexican children from parents. Oh.